welcome to potentially the only installment on this channel. I am going absolutely stir crazy here right now because I am stuck in recovery mode and that means doing a whole lot of not much. I don't do well with a whole lot of not much. I am very much looking forward to being able to return to my normal routine or at least some semblance of activity levels. Right now, the vast majority of my activity levels center on making sure that this little one is taken care of. As much as she'll let me anyway. And she is also the reason why I am in recovery mode. Not that I'm complaining. But about her. Completely complaining about being stuck in recovery mode. Don't do well in recovery mode. Hopefully you all can actually hear me. I don't know how well my phone is picking this up. It's for the moment. Sorry. Now, as implied, I am largely just rambling at this point to entertain myself. Hopefully you all get some entertainment value out of it as well. Um, first of all, I'm sure I'm going to get some question and or comment in the video about my current apparel. Yes, it is a corset. Before you go concerny on me, I am wearing this because I want to. And I am actually more comfortable in this than I was out of it. Not just because I missed corsets, but also because apparently I need that structure to keep this from being mad at me. I'm sure my OBGYN will have something to say about that. They don't want me taking too much of the Percocet. They don't want me doing restrictive and covering things and heaven forbid I try exercising. Something's got to give. I would rather it be my clothing choice than my sanity. So, yes, corset. No, I'm not changing. You can yell at me all you want. I'm pretty sure at least one of you is going to message me later telling me I shouldn't be wearing this. Love you, Michelle. I'm still wearing it. So, yeah. Motherhood's been different. I don't know exactly how to describe it. I'm sure for all the for lack of a better way to put it, career mothers out there are going to be all, oh, welcome, and this is so exciting, and it'll be wonderful, and you'll be happy, and I'm sure that will come eventually. <laughs> right now I am going absolutely bonkers, okay? Just absolutely bonkers. I love her to death. And I will do everything in my power to make sure she is taken care of. But, oh my goodness, being stuck at home is driving me insane. I don't think I'm going to be one of those stay-at-home moms. I don't think I can manage it. Just, no. <laughs> I have to have something outside the house. I will go absolutely insane. I love her to death. I can't do it. And I would rather be honest about it with myself and her and her father then lie to myself about it lie to them about it and go completely off the deep end i'm already having issues without my meds uh-uh we're not trying that as soon as i am physically i am going back to work i have to 
for my mental well-being. <laughs> Even if it's just part-time, I have to go back to work. I can't do this sitting around home. I... Mm -mm. It's not happening. <sighs> Part of the reason why I'm doing this instead of cleaning or something else is because she is, as you noticed, asleep on my lap. And that is the one and only place she is staying asleep. Because the second I sit her in her crib or in her rocking chair thing or anywhere that is not on me, she wakes up and cries and screams and cries. And at the moment, my brain needs a break. I'm just glad her cries are not higher pitched. I would have a migraine on top of being insane at the moment. I love her to pieces. I really, really do. There is nothing quite like having a child, especially one as young as her, fall asleep on your chest and just look absolutely the closest thing to an angel I have ever seen. And I know every mother says that. Every mother is probably right. Even if their kids are little hellions when they're awake, there are few things more precious than a sleeping child, especially a sleeping infant. It's almost worth it. <laughs> I'm kidding. I wouldn't trade her for the world, but there are definitely times where she likes testing that. She's only two weeks. I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble, says her father. She's a very pretty baby, so we're going to be in even more trouble once that turns double digits and she hits puberty. No, I'm looking forward to that. But at least we have time to prepare. We'll never actually be prepared. No parent is. I am fully aware of that. But I can pretend. For right now, I'm perfectly okay with embracing the every two hour feeding and all the diapers. Just so many diapers. So many diapers. <laughs> I've gone through more diapers in the last two weeks than I thought was physically possible. Just in case you're considering having one and don't believe that we're making, or don't believe that we're telling the truth about this or making it up. We had probably about eight packs of newborn diapers at the beginning of this. We're down to about one. She's two weeks old. Two weeks old. And we have gone through that many diapers. When your friends and family try to tell you to stock up on diapers, listen to them. You'll need them. You'll want them. You'll really need them. And if you're going with cloth diapers, make sure your washing machine can handle it. <laughs> yeah. We might eventually get there. That day is not today. At all. It'll probably be a few months. I am very much looking forward to potty training. We've only just begun. I'm already wanting it to be potty training levels. That tells you exactly what you're in for. And I'm sure mothers who have gone through this before me will be sitting there nodding. Because they've already dealt with it. Now, the nonsense you hear beforehand about how pregnancy is wonderful.
wonderful and it's going to be the best time of your life and you're going to miss it so much. You just gonna want more and more and more. They're full of shit. Every pregnancy is different. Some people have those magical unicorn pregnancies where they aren't in any pain, there's no complication, their babies are little angels while they're in there, everything goes smoothly. If yours isn't one of them, do not feel bad. Do not hold it against yourself. Do not think you are strange or abnormal. These people are suffering from the hormonal changes that come to give mothers a certain kind of amnesia where everything seems more rose-colored. I know for me personally, pregnancy was an absolute nightmare, and I do not want to go through it again. I may eventually change my mind, because that's how nature works. Your brain goes out of its way to delude itself into thinking that it was a worthwhile experience so that you don't kill yourself, your infant, and potentially your mate, and go from there to try to uh, go from there to continue propagating the species. My cat is being needy. She has felt very, very neglected from having to share me with a little one. She seems to be adjusting, but it definitely was a rough couple of weeks. Yeah. You did not handle me not being here very well. No, you did not. There was no need to attack Daddy. No need to attack Daddy at all. You hear me? <sighs> yeah. There's also that whole thing of if you've got pets. They may or may not adjust well and or quickly to having a new family member. She is adjusting. She may eventually come to accept the fact that there is a small, whiny little person in the house. Right now, she mostly just gives the baby funny looks and then looks at me like, why did you bring this? It's loud. It's really loud. Do we have to? Do we have to keep it? To which the answer is, of course, yes, we're keeping it. You can adjust. But that doesn't mean she has to like It's okay, kitty cat. I still doubt you. And hopefully eventually you're okay with the fact that there's a baby. I know you are much more tolerant of her when she's asleep like this. I prefer her like this, too. So, yeah. I may or may not do any more videos. Right now, like I said, this was a sanity thing. I'm plotting how to extricate myself from the current situation so I can actually get food because I have not eaten since breakfast. And if I don't eat, she doesn't eat. And as much as she doesn't appreciate that fact, I'm fully aware. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get her to sleep someplace other than my lap probably soon. Because it is... Ooh, yeah. It's like 6.30 here right now. I probably should have eaten about five hours ago. <sighs> Oops. Well, that explains why it's been harder to get her to accept single feeding. It's where I need to start setting myself a timer. I'm trying! <laughs> That's another thing. They don't tell you about just how hard it is to remember to take care of yourself when you're taking care of them. Yeah. 
So for any new mommies who end up watching this, yes, it's important to eat. Yes, it's important to drink. Not alcohol. Other things. Lots of other things. You will go through it. You will dehydrate. It's just how it is. If you're lucky, you will be able to keep up. You will find it very challenging, more than likely, to keep up with both your own hydration and theirs. <laughs> just a fact of life, unfortunately. You will eventually adjust. You will eventually find a rhythm. I haven't yet. I'm working on it. It is important to sleep. You will hear sleep when the baby sleeps. It's not always feasible. Do your best. I know that's not super helpful. But I understand the whole need to eat, sleep, shower, clean. Take care of other responsibilities. I really do. So I know it's not always feasible for sleep when the baby sleeps. I know I don't do it. I pump. One, because way too much for tiny, tiny, two-week-old. And two, so that her father can take care of it occasionally so I can get a nap. Naps are your friend. You will like naps. Even if you didn't before, you will like naps. I would not make it through without naps. I wouldn't. I, I love her to pieces. It wouldn't happen. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. For those of you who actually do end up watching, thank you for your time and your patience. I warned you it was going to be a ramble. If you've made it this far, I guess thank you. I don't really know exactly how to phrase it or what to say at that point. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was amusing. Now I have to decide between putting her to bed and changing her diaper, which will add absolutely 100% wake her up because she hates having her diaper changed. These are the dilemmas you will face. There may or may not be more after this. If you all enjoyed it, let me know. That will probably influence whether I actually bother making more or not. I can't guarantee I will be able to make more once I get back to work just from sheer mental exhaustion between baby and employment, especially with my employer. So, again, if you enjoy this, let me know. It will make a difference. If you don't enjoy it, then ignore whatever, whatever you decide to do. This is more for me than anybody else, at least at this point. If people enjoy Rambling Mom, I may try to make it a semi-regular thing. Otherwise, I'll do them as I need them. We'll find out what happens. Have a good day, everybody.